Hey everyone, my name is Peyton, and this is the first video of a series where I want to actually create a abandoned, kind of spooky house. Um, basically, the goal of this video and the upcoming videos is going to be every single week up until Halloween, I'm going to be releasing a video that kind of breaks down a part of the process and show from start to finish just what I'm um, doing with this environment. And in this video, at least, I'm going to be covering primarily the block out and the actual kind of thought process behind that as I'm just quickly throwing stuff together. And then, of course, each week's going to progressively continue with the environment. And um, by the end of it, uh, near Halloween, we should have a finished environment that kind of, you know, has the, the start to finish um, of my overall like process. And uh, yeah, hopefully if you follow along, you can just kind of see that uh, culmination of everything coming together. So uh, as you see here, I've already started throwing in some of my characters, um, just using the actual blueprint character and throwing it in there as a nice base point to see, you know, scale and size and everything. Uh, the main goal here is to really make sure that I'm actually like building's just an approximate level. Of course, we're going to get things a bit more accurate when we get all of our models and everything into uh, Maya and doing more of the metrics, but I think it's a great way to just quickly get started with something. I think if you plan too much with a lot of the uh, using scale and metrics and everything initially, you can kind of get stuck in that phase. Um, and so, yeah, as, a, as you see here, I'm just using that as an approximation, but really it's just coming down to uh, throwing down our different assets and I'll tweak things as I go forward and um, again as I get into the modeling as well things will kind of uh, progressively improve as well uh, and for this project I did want to use Unreal Engine 5 so we're going to be using some of the really cool effects uh, with ray tracing, lumen, um, volumetric fog, and the global illumination and everything kind of culminating together. Uh, I think it's going to be really cool to really play into that, especially with uh, you know the lighting that you kind of think of with a, a spooky scene. Um, where you're really trying to get the the fog and kind of a nighttime lighting. Sometimes the the colors aren't necessarily like super realistic. It can be a little bit uh, more, I guess, fantasy like with some purples, oranges, and stuff. Um, so we're really going to try to push those as well. And what I'm doing here right now is I basically just wanted to build out a column for my front like little patio area or the um, yeah, the front porch basically and the side porch and all. And I'll generally just like grab a couple of my models and actually uh, group them together. Um, that way I have a better shape and kind of silhouette of what I was planning for uh, for the actual like... Um, yeah, for the beams, basically. And again, this this helps get the, the forms and all in there, but I'm not, like, all of it will be replaced eventually. So it's really more so about the, the idea of it. And, um, you know, do I want this porch? Like, am I, is, is it going to wrap all the way around the entire building? Um, and those kind of questions that I'm really trying to answer. And so, yeah, again, I've already kind of made my column that's uh, towering up to the top, which is kind of going to be my first story uh, roof and everything. And now I'm actually building out a little bit of the, the railing. Uh, again, it's kind of just a, a throwing a couple of the cubes in there, um, you know, grouping some of it together. That way we have those. Uh, ones that go down and this can also really help you understand too like the noisiness of things um, like if I have too many of the vertical pillars with my um, columns or with my railing I can easily remove that stuff and uh, it just gives me a better idea you know starting off um, to where like you know what's going to be necessary in the actual models um, and then here, of course, I'm kind of just blocking in some of the shapes to break up my roof uh, because that roof up there is kind of flat and large. And so I want to make sure that it does have that uh, that kind of like outcropping as well. Um, 
And again, I'm not I'm not trying to keep anything like super crazy at this moment. I think it's really more so about uh, the overall idea and everything getting down. Um, now just really trying to focus on getting some bushes in there and breaking up some of the, the stiffness that we kind of have with our house uh, because there's so many vertical and horizontal shapes and trying to get some of those like... Uh, you know, straight lines broken up with some curves, uh, really nice as well. Um, and now we got like the main building and everything in there. I really want to play around with some lighting. So, uh, basically going to just throw in a first pass. So immediately we dropped down my directional light. Um, really wanted to make sure that, you know, that's at a, a lighter kind of moon, um, light color. And then just, yeah, slightly tweaked my skylight. And now what I really want to do is I'm just building out a really quick emissive. Um, so this is just block out. Uh, I generally have block out materials that I will use for all of my building pieces and everything. And so, yeah, I'm just going to do this because I, I kind of want that glow from the interior of the house to be coming outwards. Um, you know, we might keep this, we might not, but I think the, the main idea is to start playing with some of those colors, some of those like crazy tones that we're kind of thinking of and seeing how they can play into the, the mood and the story. Um, cause I definitely don't want this to just be like a realistic kind of boring house. I'm, I am going for that, uh, kind of fantasy, like almost Halloween, um, atmosphere. So, and then here really just throwing down a quick block out of a tree. So again, grouping that together, I wanted the like little base to be a little bit wider, um, but it's more about for the composition and everything, not really worrying about it because it's gonna be replaced uh, pretty quickly with some actual modeled out uh, trees and everything. Um, and then again, kind of jumping over to our exponential height fog. I am just really bumping up some of the fog. I want to exaggerate it a bit at this moment to see, you know, how far we can really take it. Um, then, of course, we'll kind of tone it back as we move along. Um, and again, as well, I think one other thing that I'm really trying to harp on with this is uh, like in the initial block out at least is we have the main structure of our building now we really want to break up a lot of the architectural elements and get in some of that more organic uh, side of it so um, yeah that's kind of where I added the bushes around the the base of the the patio um, or our porch and then I have some just like indications of stones like steps or something for the walkway kind of going up to the stairs so now that i have that kind of figured out i'm starting to get some movement and everything with our um, overall like path and how we're looking at the space i want to set up and go ahead and set up a camera and all and so this is really as you see i kind of pinned it down to the bottom right corner and I pretty much have this pinned camera there just for composition's sake at the moment um, because I want to really focus on this one shot um, just as a selling piece for it. Uh, so I took my railing from my porch and I've actually decided to kind of um, make a fence basically off that because it's pretty similar. Um, and now I'm using the actual like uh, pinned camera snapshot that I have down here that's a little bit more cinematic and I have that that I'm referencing and I'm basically building out a lot of these elements that can help frame our scene as well um, so yeah really just focusing it again on this shot right now we'll probably you know uh, grow from this add-on and everything but um, yeah this is really the the priority at the moment is um, just thinking about our one shot and our, our image that we're trying to hit. Um, so yeah, again, just using a couple of cubes to throw around um, with the fence, really just focusing on, you know, making sure that nothing's too stiff or so in the, the initial like placement of all of this. And then um, I'll go back later on and of course actually make this into a kit that's usable. Um, but the, the idea is what I'm really trying to focus on because if the idea doesn't work, then, you know, it doesn't matter how good the kit is. Um, it really just 
getting this down, I think, is uh, biggest priority. So, as you see, we're starting to get a, a decent shot here. Uh, cinematically, like it, it has some nice elements to it. We're kind of being moved in with the actual pathway. Um, and I'm trying to break it up a little bit more to where it's not as like angular and everything with uh, the fence work and all of that. Um, and now what I'll probably do is try to break it up a little bit more with even some like fun Halloween-esque uh, looks to it as well. Putting around a couple of rocks and then I do want to add that sort of iconic um, pumpkin that you would think of so just yeah really quickly making a pumpkin material and all um, again this is just block out color but it's to give the indication of what it will be at some point um, and just placing that around in an interesting way as well thinking about hierarchy with large shapes medium small shapes and um, yeah really just trying to get some of those in there too for our image and this is really like, you know, getting close to where our block out is pretty much done. Um, so kind of moving into next week, we'll be doing a lot more of the mod kit, like breakdown and trying to show how going to be basically setting up our models and everything else uh, to where we take this block out. We can then replace it with models and uh, start to get a lot more of the uh, the actual details of the house refined and our piece here. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed seeing this first part of the block out. Again, feel free to follow along uh, with this series as it's ongoing in the next couple of weeks. And um, yeah, besides that, I will see you in the next video. All right.